What up, T-Table? Today we're going to take a look at Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX, a deck that was pretty powerful many, many eclipses ago, and, you know, kind of fallen out of favor, but a new addition from Obsidian Flames has brought it, maybe creeping back to the forefront and galloping its way to a top tier. So, obviously you look at it and you're like, wow, there's Pats of the Peak in a Shadow Rider deck. That's not a control version. That's all wacky. What's going on here? Well, from Obsidian Flames, we got Lunatone. If you have any Soul Rock in play, prevent all effects of stadium cards done to your Pokemon. That means you could pop that path into play where Rulebox will not have no abilities and not have to worry about it. So, let's go through the list here and see how this all works together. So, obviously... You got the Force Shadow Rider V. You need the basic, but the basic's actually pretty good. Do your opponent's decks turn the can't play any stadium or energy cards from their hand. And for three colors, Astral Barrage. Two to your opponent's Pokemon and put five damage counters on them. Each of them. Both pretty good attacks, really. And you can even do like a thing where you lock in a path while you're setting up with your other Shadow Riders and swing. Because uh, if they don't have like a Lost Vacuum or something, or their attack doesn't get rid of it, they cannot really do anything. So that is pretty sweet there. So it's like a good option as like your quote-unquote starter, even though you do have four. But since Shadow Rider only touches the bench, we'll talk about in a moment, it's kind of like a good uh, Pokemon to begin with, and then you just finish off with the V-Maxes. So we do have those four Shadow Rider V-Maxes. Once you go turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon. If you attach any energy to a Pokemon this way, draw two cards, and then 10 plus starting for each Psychic Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So, uh, so you can attach to the active, like I said, but you can leave the basic Shadow Rider up front. Ping in the 10, no stadium. Why you lock in the Pats of the Peak, and if your opponent is also not playing Lunatone Soul Rock, then you can just power up your Pokemon, and, you know, by the time they can do something, you could Iono or Boss and take a big knockout and be really, really far ahead. We got one Espeon V. This attack is 60 to 100 balance for Pokemon V and 120. Don't worry about that. We got Espeon V Max with the ability Solar Revelation. Prevent all effects of attacks on your opponent's Pokemon. From your opponent's Pokemon, then to all your Pokemon that has an energy. Effects are such as like Sableye or Poison, Confuse, not like Radiant Greninja as that is physical damage. And then it does Max Mindstorm 60 times the amount of energy your opponent has in play. And it's important to know there's energy, not cards. So Double Turbo will count as 2 and do 120 extra for the attack. So this obviously works with the pathing, so it does help shut off Sableye. Because they can go pick off your Lunatones and stuff if they want. But you pop a Psychic on that Pokemon right there and you're protected. So that is pretty sweet. Then we do have Soul Rock from Pokemon Go. Once you're your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from a disc part of one of your Lunatone. So it obviously combos with your Shadow Rider. Usually there's the other Lunatone from Pokemon Go that is 30 plus 30 for every Psychic on it. But for this one, it's just kind of there because we need the Lunatone to activate. Um, some lists are playing one of the new Luna to, or sorry, new Soul Rocks from Obsidian Flames, which uh, does call for family for two, but it is psychic. Or sorry, call for family for one energy and lets you get to basic. Excuse me, but it is psychic, so you can get it with Fog Crystal. This one you just got Ultra Ball or Nest Ball, which isn't like a big deal, but that is why they do that one. And then we got that new Lunatone Moon Press 100, whatever attack with it, it'll be funny. Uh, but if you have Solar can play, you're not affected by Path. And we finish it off with good old Manaphy. Prevent all damage done to your Pokemon on the bench by your opponent's Pokemon. So, you got that. Yes, man, you got that Manaphy. Your bench is just chilling and vibing. We're going to go to the trainer cards now. You got four Professor Research. Obviously, discard your hand, draw seven. Pretty simple there. You got the three bosses order. Like I said, you can lock something in. Or if you're just going aggro and you get the turn two anyway... Uh, knock out those Pokemon before they can do anything to you. You got that Iono there from Peldea Evolved. Each player shuffles their hand to their inputs on the bottom. If either player did that, they draw equal to how many prizes they have remaining. So, you know, you can get your opponent down and still be using your ability to draw cards in the meantime. And then we got one Roxanne. So, some lists are choosing to play Roxanne. Uh, some are just going for Iono. But this particular list did the Roxanne. You can only just card if you want to through a few prize cards. You shuffle, you draw six, they draw two, and then you got the path into play, and you can keep drawing cards. Then we have one copy of Adventures Discovery. There's a four seal stone, which we'll go over in a second, but you can help you search this out. Search for three Vs, reveal and put them in your hand, so you can get V or V Max for your Shadow Rider slash Espeon. We'll go to the items now. You got those four Ultra Ball, obviously, discard two cards, get a Pokemon. You got four Fog Crystal. Search your deck for a basic Psychic Energy or a basic Psychic Pokemon. So it begets everything except for Manaphy and Solrock, depending which Solrocks you're going with. Reveal them, put in your hand. 
and also just tutors for you to draw two cards, which is pretty sweet there. You got the three nest ball search for basic, put it on your bench. The easy way to get out of your soul rock. You got three switch, because like I said, uh, Shadow Rider does not attach to the active, so you're going to need to have those switch cards. Um, if you're not able to pre-attach to the active, you know, depending what you're being active, like a mana feeder retrieve for one or something. Then we got energy retrieval, put two basic energy from your spell in your hand, help you get back after a knockout, perhaps to keep on attacking. Or, if you had to retreat your active manually, like we just talked about, you can pop those back in your hand, draw four cards, and do like a cool little dance as you attack your opponent for a bunch of damage. Then we got that four seal stone tool attached to your V. You can use one of these star power game. Search for anything you want. So, it just lets you set up a little bit. Maybe get the winning card. Um, it's kind of like that one. Like, well, if you don't have to use it, that's pretty cool. But, I feel like the utility is kind of to help you set up. So, if you do open, like, oh, I got two Shadow Rider Vs. You know, and a couple energy. And you're just like, alright, I got the four seal stone. Let me use that to get Adventures Discovery. And then I'm like, V Max, V Max, V, Lunatone, whatever. You're getting bopped. But also, it can let you search out that path to the peak. To lock in there. And you're... You just, you know, kind of dance around your cool sun and moon as your opponent is confused by you dancing at the middle of a match. But, you know, they'll not worry about it. They'll move on with their lives. And you got Leafy Cambo Poncho. I've loved this card since it came out. Always a big fan. Try to put in a lot of decks. I played a lot in a lot of decks. Um, whenever your opponent plays a supported from their hand, a.k.a. Boss's Order, really, prevent all effects of that card done to that Pokemon V-Star or V-Max this card is attached to. So, kind of... You really want to put on your Espeon, so your opponent can't target it with whatever they're doing. But it can just work on a Shadow Rider, too, if you're just like, well, I need to save that last one. You know, you got, like, a boss situation or something like that. But remember, it does not stop, most importantly, Umbreon VMAX, uh, which is big at the moment. Then you got that four, Pat to the Peak. Pokemon with the rule box, both of your opponents have no abilities, unless you have the little rock in play. And you got the 13 Psychic Energy, so... I'm excited about this just because Shadow Rider is just a cool card. I'm going to mess around. There are a bunch of variants. Uh, Pokeka on Twitter provided this, along with that proxy there, Lunatone by Justin Basil. Appreciate you there. Both of them will be linked in the description of this video, so go make sure you go give them a follow and check out those websites. Pokeka is great. It has given me so many deck ideas. Most of these videos really are from them because it's kind of cool to look at what we're going to get. And it's like an interesting time because they're really getting Obsidian Flames like a couple weeks before us. So like by the time we have like a regional... Like, this set will be out for a while, but, like, the League Cups or League Challenges in the coming weeks will be really exciting because new cards will be there, and we'll just finish Worlds, and like, okay, let's, what are we doing? Are we all just going to play Arceus decks? Maybe. You know, but maybe some new things like Lamora, the Shadow Rider, new old things uh, there to, you know, shake up the meta a little, or at least um, change people's mind going to big events. Because now that, obviously, Limitless is a staple of the community, the... It's interesting how the meta sways, because there's so many tournaments a week, so much data out there. The format, like, solves itself, kinda, because it's one game, but it does leave some room for some surprises there. Because, like, oh, one day, you know, Blank might win, and then that deck won't win for two weeks. But it all is up matchups, because uh, Limitless is obviously mostly one game. So, with that being said, try out a bunch of Psychic Pokemon, try out Luna Rock and things. Like I said, you can play the other Soul Rock too. Not a bad idea. I don't think I would go two of this one or one of that one. You may not even need this one, to be fair. But it just kind of helps you power up and recover and get the extra damage. So if you have to Alter Ball, you can still get it back. Is really, like, the main thing you're looking at. Um, As for, like, dealing with Umbreon, you just kind of look at other Psychic Pokemon that exist. I mean, oddly enough, Mewtwo V-Star may not be bad. Like, unironically, Mewtwo V-Star may not be a bad choice. You know, there's a bunch of other ones out there. Make sure you give that a look as well um i want to thank everyone for watching this short little shadow writer video obsidian flames comes out soon very excited for that if your local game store had a pre-release please go visit them this week and support them and buy some product or singles or whatever they may have and if you do not have that well it does come out uh friday the 11th so you can make sure you get that there um, we will, I will be posting more videos this week, including a box opening, which is going to be exciting. I don't really do that often, but, you know, it's fun. And maybe we'll pull a Charizard and have some cool content there. But, I'm Josh Hatter. That's Shatter Rider. This has been the Tea Table, and I will see everybody next time.